so thank you again for tuning into my channel today and uh, uh, if you haven't subscribed to this channel go ahead and do so because on here you're gonna get lots of uh, encouraging messages and worship and stuff on relationships right I just love love I mean love is beautiful I think the whole essence of life is love right okay so today again I just want to encourage someone and um, this encouragement is in the line of worry I know it's so difficult not to worry especially when you care but you have to learn not to worry I just want to encourage you and maybe make you see a few reasons why you should not I know it's easier said than done even myself I struggle not to worry sometimes but the truth is you can't keep going go through life worrying about how things are going to turn up I learned one time from someone that worry is trying to take God's place you're trying to tell God that I can do what you can do but the truth is God is God right and if you're a believer and you really you're conscious and you believe in your heart I'm not saying you just say it with your mouth if you believe in your heart that your times are in God's hands then you will learn or you will have to kill the spirit of worry yeah it's a spirit the Bible says who by worrying can add to their life no one worrying only gives more room to depression and makes you feel like God is not doing stuff for you like he has to he ought to do the Bible says, he that assists his from, from his own rest has entered into God's rest. Many, many of us believers, we worry because we haven't yet entered into God's rest. And we feel like God is not going to do what he said he will do. But that's a lie. I had to really seriously pray about it. And some days I still struggle with it. But there's a place that I have come. I've come to a place of rest. I mean, it takes lots of walks and hard work and prayer and, and continuous trust. Even when the worry is coming, you need to beat it down. You know, the Bible says you cast down every imagination, anything that is exalting itself above the knowledge of God in your life. And worry is one of those, right? I mean, when, when you read that scripture about entering into God's rest, it's not like you stop working. But after you've done all you can, like a song by Donnie McCartney, after you've done all you can, you just stand. Let him do what he can do, right? So I'm going to share a testimony that happened to me. Uh, it's a short one. So I woke up very early. By 6.15, I was up. I got ready. I had to get to work. And oh my, when I was close by, I saw the bus leaving. I was like, oh no. But there was just this peace and calm, you know? Then I told myself, okay, now that I've missed the bus, I, I, I wasn't able to get myself lunch. And buying lunch would mean mon mon much money, spending more near where I am. And this beautiful necklace which I made, I really wanted to wear it, right, today. So I said, okay, I've missed the bus. It's okay. I'll catch the next one so I can go home, get myself lunch, and then get this beautiful necklace. Yeah. <laughs> so I went home, and by the time I was preparing my lunch, I discovered that, oh, my God, I could still be late again. I was about behind, but I had just five minutes to get to the bus stop. And, you know, I mean, it's holiday time, and the buses get uh, on the bus uh, to the bus stop early but there was just this calm and peace I was just like anyways and everything I just give God thanks I just learned not to worry because I told myself either way so I'm gonna be at work if it means I have to close 15 minutes later than normal 30 minutes it's okay at least I got lunch I did I got this beautiful necklace on yeah right and as I got into the leave on getting out to the, the reception of my building I met this guy that used to drop me off at work sometime and he brought me and he said, oh, I can join him. And I got to work. Normally I start work at 8.30, but I was here even before eight, right? And now I can make this video. See, we need to really, really not worry. Everything works out for the good today that love God. Then as I was in the, in the car coming to work, as we're driving to work, I got to my reading the book of uh, Psalms and I got to verse 5. It says, I will trust in your unfailing love. God's love for us, it never fails. Oh my God. See, there's something about the love of God that I just pray he reveals it to you. But there's something about me, I'm conscious that God loves me and he loves you with a dangerous love. You need to learn not to worry. That's my encouragement for you today. 
there were so many reasons why I could worry. Oh, I've missed the balls. I woke up early. Oh, this, oh, that, oh, that. But God had gone ahead and made provision for someone to bring me to work without me even having to spend money. He was able to make me to get my lunch ready. I didn't have to spend money. God is good, forever good towards us. You need to pray against the spirit of worry. I know you care, you love, you like things to be on time, but you need to really pray against the spirit of worry, okay? I just hope this message encourages you. You stay blessed. And let me know down in the comment section if you wanna want me to share a few scriptures with you that could really help you get to this place where you understand the amazing love God has for you and learn to rest in His love. Stay blessed. I'm inspired, Grisel. If you love this video, like, share, subscribe, and tell your friends, okay? Stay blessed.